Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have another IKEA project. This is a Vebjorn desk and it's kind of shown right here. Uh, and I'm gonna construct it exactly like this, except I'm gonna flip the location of the drawers and, and this desk allows you to do that. So uh, I'll show you how to build one of these today. Okay, so I got all the parts out of the box and you can see there is quite a lot of parts. Uh, it's a little bit organized with regards to the hardware. You have bag one, two, and three, so don't open those up yet. You probably want to open them up in an order. Uh, of course, we have some information, the, the uh, instruction manual. Now, if you're familiar with IKEA at all, you probably already discovered that other than a couple of words here and there, there are no word descriptions in here. It's all based on pictures. And so this really does confuse some people, but we'll go through each one of these steps and uh, hopefully we won't have many problems. But I did notice one problem right off the bat. Now I did mention originally that I was hoping to switch the location of the drawers to this side. But in fact, after looking at this instruction manual, I can't do that. So um, if you are purchasing this, the drawers are on the left, the shelves are on the right. Um, and you can't switch them. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, I would have bought this desk anyway. It will still work out for me, but uh, that was a little bit of a disappointment. So you can't switch those out. But we'll go ahead and uh, go through these step by step. Now when you do open up the box, you may want to save the large box. I saved it right here because they're just recommending that you build this thing on the box. It'll help protect not only the desk, but also your floor if you have a hardwood floor. And so we're just gonna kinda use the box that came with it. Now one thing about the hardware you wanna know is they do kinda show you what you should have in your kit. Now, uh, of all the years I've been building IKEA furniture, I've never not had hardware all the hardware that they said should be there, but I have lost hardware, like I've misplaced stuff. And if you do go to Ikea, just go to the customer service desk, and normally they will give you uh, most of all this hardware for free if you need one or two pieces. Just tell them which one you want, and they usually will just give it to you free. So we are gonna start with the drawer side of the desk. And I recommend that you just kind of follow the photo or the pictures in your book and lay everything out the way they show it here. It just makes things a lot more easier. Uh, again, we're gonna start with bag one, which is right here. And we're looking for these, um, these little cam lock and nut things. If you, uh, one thing that you'll discover is that there is unique hardware in here. Now, uh, this little thing and this little thing are what's called cam lock and nuts, and I'll show you how those work. They basically help fasten all the boards together. So we'll start with the part that essentially looks like that, and we need four of those. And here we go, we have our uh, four little locks here. They're kind of embedded in a little plastic. They're actually just pushable, so you can push them in the hole. Uh, these little fasteners also come in a screw type, but these are just the push type. And again, you're just gonna kinda stick them in these holes. Now look at the picture carefully. You'll notice there's like a hole there, and you're not doing it in that hole, but the one next to it, and again here, not that one, uh, but the one next to it. So watch uh, the photos, the pictures, carefully to figure out where they go. And again, here's our board that's laid out in the same orientation. You can see kind of uh, carefully the holes laid out here. There's three holes there, there's three holes there. So I'm gonna take this little fastener and just stick it in, in the hole that they designate. Like that. So the next one doesn't go at the end, but goes into the smaller one right here, just like this. Okay, so next we're gonna install the guides for our drawers, or the hardware for our drawers. And your kit's gonna come with four bundles like this. And each one of these is for one drawer. And so these are the, the different um, tracks that come with in that bundle. And you can see these two here, which have the, the wheel 
uh, that the ones that kind of sit flat just like this, these are actually attached to the desk. So you can install them on desk. These ones here, which don't really sit flat like this, uh, those actually get installed in the drawer. So we're going to put those aside for now. Now these ones, if you notice, uh, there's two of them, but the ends are slightly uh, a different orientation. The wheel for this one is here, the other one's here. And so that you want to look at that closely when installing it on your two boards. So here's one board and the other board. So in your instruction manual, again, we have our boards oriented all the same way and it's pointing to this side, which is the left board in, uh, in our example. And you can see how it's oriented. So here, uh, the wheel is on the bottom and here I actually installed this incorrectly so I actually I'm gonna flip this one over here and put this one over here so uh, I caught myself with a mistake and you notice the wheels on the bottom there and the wheels on the bottom here and on the other side it's on the bottom so I have to flip these over make sure I get them all correctly oriented and you're gonna install four on each board. And so we're going to attach these. If you notice that there's a hole here, a hole there, and uh, there's holes associated with each rail. And we're going to attach them with these little screws. Again, you just want to look at the picture, uh, trying to match up the picture with the hardware you want. You will need a screwdriver of yourself. So this is, does not come with the kit. So we'll go ahead and drive. We first kind of need to align these with the holes, just like that and then just like that and that is shown in the picture just like that so there are two holes here but the picture clearly shows which hole it goes into so we're gonna uh, stick it in that hole and so we'll just drive these screws so one thing about screwing these things in you don't want to over torque it because this wood is just a particle board and you can strip uh, the part of the board if you if you screw it in. So to just screw it in until it's generally flush and you're good. And there you go. We secured all the tracks here. And same thing on the other side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, in our bag one, there's a bunch of these little dowels uh, pieces. And what we're going to do is for the center board, uh, we're going to put six dowels. So uh, two on the bottom here and two on each side. And you can see right there is where the dowels go. And so you can just use a screwdriver or a little hammer and just kind of tap it in there just like that. And so we're going to install six of those. Okay, so with that done, we had kind of look around for this board here. And same kind of board that's pictured in here. It has a little track here, a little cutout piece there. And what we're just going to do is fit. Now these do have little holes in them, just like that that uh, connect to the dowels. So what we just want to do is lift this up, kind of slip it in until it fits in like this, and just kind of place it down for now. And so next on each side, we're going to stick in another little dowel right next to this little uh, cam lock uh, deal here. And same thing with the other, other, other side. And then we're just going to carefully rotate this larger piece up and kind of uh, fit it all in. So it should fit. There's a hole right here that fits in with this dowel and on the bottom as well. And you'll have to lift it up slightly to fit everything in. Uh, and it's going to, you're going to have to fit these, the, the cam lock here and the little dowel in their respective holes and just kind of place it in just like that. If you need another hand, you might want to get some help doing this. But so it's just loosely fitted in just like that. Okay, and so this is where the magic of the cam lock and nut comes in. If you look through this little hole on the bottom here, you'll notice the head of the little, uh, I guess this would be the cam lock portion, or maybe this is nut, I don't know. But what happens is, this is the other side of this little piece of hardware. And what happens is, this is sticking in like this, 
and you're going to stick this in and then rotate it so this will be the back side stick it in and then when you rotate this thing it actually locks it in place like that and so that's what we're going to do next so there is an orientation and there should be an arrow on these little nut parts so this will be pointing towards the lock portion so we're going to just make sure it's oriented correct kind of stick it in there loosely doesn't have to be all the way because I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver like this, holding this in place, kind of stick it in like that, and kind of wiggle it in. It should go all the way. And then I'm going to rotate it clockwise until it grabs onto that little uh, bar, that head, and locks in place. And now it's attached and will not, this board won't uh, fall off. Now, if, if, you, if you make a mistake or if you need to uh, tear this thing apart again, it's really easy. All you need to do is just uh, rotate it back and then probably uh, you'll need some kind of magnet or something to get this out. But once you take it out, well, you don't need to take it out right now, but it will come off just like that. And then to relock it, you just stick it back in and then lock it up again, nice and tight. And there you go. So you can take these things apart. It's not a permanent uh, uh, connection. And then once again, we're going to look at our instructions and find the next piece that goes on, which is this. We're going to well, look at the picture, orient it again. I think we need a, another dowel that goes in this hole right there, just like that. There's two holes at the end of this. We're going to place this in just like that loosely. Use your little cam nut here. Stick this in the proper orientation. Wiggle it in. Rotate it clockwise. And that's in. Next, we just rotate this back up. Put those two dowels in and do the same thing. Two more cam lock nuts. And there we go. We're essentially, uh, the, our structures gelling together. Now it is pretty loose on, on the top here, so just be careful, but we're just gonna move this aside to make the bottom frame next. Okay, so we've laid, we found our next four boards, and again, I'm just looking at the picture here, uh, finding the boards that look like uh, the ones pictured, and if you zoom in here, you see there's a couple holes there, a couple holes there you're so essentially looking at boards with holes so the holes are only uh, the ones portrayed here should be identical so there's one two three and there's one two three so you're basically if, you, if you're confused about which board just look for where the holes are located and now we are opening up another bag of hardware this is a bag two so we're not done with bag one but uh, we are opening up bag two, so make sure that both uh, sets of hardware are separated so they don't get mixed. And we again need four of these little cam lock uh, pieces here. And based on the photo, we're sticking them in here and here. And then again, up on top. And next we're going to install these little L brackets with screws. Now these screws I think are slightly bigger than the other ones that we're dealing with. Here's the L brackets. So we're essentially installing them like that with the screw. And again, don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip those. That would. So just to make sure that they're generally snug like that. And then in our kit again, uh, bag two, we have more dowels. So we're going to uh, put the dowels associated with each one of these. Kind of ins insert them right here. Like that. And then we'll need a little nut on top. And then tighten it up. And so with our, our uh, drawer side up, we're just going to take our base. These little L brackets should be kind of on the top and we're going to match it. But before we do that, we're going to stick in four dowels in these little holes here. One, two, three, 
four. Those are gonna be matched up with the holes that are on, on the base here. I'll lift this up just a bit. Just like that. And then we're gonna take our, uh, four more of these little screws and attach them to the base using the L brackets. And before we go to the next side, uh, your uh, kit two hardware, uh, do have these little feet, which uh, fits nicely in these two little holes to protect the floor. And now for the shelf side. Uh, I set aside the uh, the drawer side over there, just standing up uh, carefully. And so th the shelf side has one more piece, which is this, um, I guess this is the base piece uh, right here. And you can see I laid it out the same way it's shown here. Here's that groove here, here's that groove there. And I'm just gonna take again, now this time six of those little cam lock devices, kind of install them. Uh, here, you just want to look at the picture and make sure you're installing them in the right hole. Again, right here, it shows there's, you know, five holes right here, but you're installing it into this hole right here. So instead of those holes, you look at the picture and clearly it's here. And don't forget to look at which bag you're on. We're on bag three. So that's where we got our parts and we installed, let's see, one on top, two on bottom, two on bottom one on top and so the next set of instructions of course you got your dowels again you're going to stick two dowels on one side you have your holes right here so that's where we're going to stick the dowels in these grooves there and there and we're also and then we're going to fit it into this side uh, and then we're going to kind of put some dowels on this lower board here in here in here and then slip that in as well And then we go ahead and put our cam locks or nuts on top. Okay, next we're gonna stick this board in up on top here. Needs two dowels, one right there, one on the other end. And again, we're gonna lock it in place with our little nuts here. Now this will be a little unstable initially so don't knock it after you stick it in here. So it'll hold in place for now, but again, don't hit it. So next for the other side, and make sure we have all our dowels in place. Actually, let's stick that in this one. Alrighty, everything's in place. Put this in. And then just lock everything in place with your little nut nuts here. And just like the drawer side, we're gonna be building the base exactly the same. And then go ahead and attach it same way to the bottom of your shelf. And don't forget your feet.
So next we're gonna construct the brace that essentially holds the two, the drawers and the shelves together. Uh, you can see right here, this little brace right here. And so we have these two thin pieces and this larger piece. And what we need are, to just, just start with our four dowels. So uh, these will go in these inner holes. Like that. And then we're just gonna fit them together. Like that. And then your kit comes with these little screws that are actually driven with an Allen wrench. The Allen wrench comes with your kit. So you're good to go there. And so you can just insert these into the holes there and then use your Allen wrench to drive them in. Okay, so now it's time to kind of take your brace and loosely fit it in uh, between your, sh uh, your drawers and your shelves. Now to do that, you're gonna need two new pieces of hardware. I'm not even sure what this one is called, but this one kind of just helps uh, the brace sit, sit gently uh, in place. And then you have this kind of metal dowel which actually will sit right here and connect and connect uh, loosely connected together. So first we're going to take this odd shape one and kind of stick it. Uh, let's see, I think it goes just like that in this smaller, in this lower hole, uh, you have two little um, pins, kind of, kind of a skinny one and a fat one. You're essentially going to stick the skinny one in like that, so it's kind of oriented in that direction. So on the drawer end, with those in place, let's get some extra room. I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit so it'll fit. And again, this is the bottom. This is kind of like a little trench thing. We're just gonna kind of fit this in place, just so it holds like that, and then Like that, and it's just nicely loosely fitted in there. And then take these little metal dowel thingies and just stick them in to there, just like that. And this will help prevent it from kicking up. So I'm the first to admit that this is kind of a funky system. This is not really holding them in place. It's just kind of supporting them so they don't fall down. Uh, I assume that when we put the top on, uh, the top will provide most of the support and, and this beam is essentially to help hold um, the bottoms of the shelves and the drawers so they don't kick this way. Uh, but it is kind of, uh, I haven't seen this kind of design before, it is a little bit funky. Okay, so with that beam in place, what I did was uh, I put six dowels on the drawer side, so one, two, three, four, and five, six, and only five on the shelf side. So two in back, only one in the middle, and then two in front. Okay, now it's time for the top. Now I, I place this on uh, upside down on the, on the uh, little cardboard for now. Now there's two sides. There's one side for the drawers and the other side for the shelves. Now you'll notice uh, that the holes are different. So pay attention to where the holes are. Uh, you'll notice that for the drawer side, in the middle you only have two. But on, uh, excuse me, that's the shelf side. It has two there, but the drawer side has more in the center. So that's an easy way to distinguish them. And what you're gonna do is just take a bunch of these uh, cam locks and you can put six on the drawer side and then five on the shelf side. Uh, pay attention to all these holes. So uh, for this one right there, we're gonna be installing it right here, not there. Now with them all in place, I'm gonna basically take this, flip it over, and put it on top of the desk. Now, uh, I'm gonna attempt this myself. Uh, it's much easier with a second person, so if you have somebody at hand, uh, grab somebody. Uh, but let's see if I can do this myself.
and it's installed. But major boo boo. Uh, in putting this on, I it looks like I have damaged it at some point in time. You can see a big dent there. Uh, this is not very strong at all. I'm not even sure when I did that. Uh, I don't think it came that way, so I blame myself. Uh, this is upsetting, but maybe I could put in some filler. And uh, fortunately, there'll be some computers and stuff back here, so uh, it won't be as visible. But be very careful. This is very, this is not very strong at all. As you can tell, it's very weak board. So um, go ahead and laugh at Geo. But there you go. The top is on. Okay, now time to secure it all down with your little locks. This needs to be pushed down a little bit, but. So for your shelf side, you do have these little plugs to help hide, if I can focus in here, well, to help hide these little cam locks right there, just like that. So you can just hide that up. And you also have a couple of screws, like this. They're just Phillips head screws, and those just go right here, if I can see. And you can just drive those in right there for additional uh, support for your shelf. Now it does come with a single shelf and you have three different levels you can have them at. Uh, let's see, you can just stick these little uh, metal kind of dowels in these little holes, where uh, whichever position you want them in. Like that. And then when you put your uh, shelf down, they'll just kind of fit into this little groove here and sit securely. Okay, now it's time for the drawers. Now this is a large drawer. Uh, I'll just do an example for one drawer. Uh, they're all basically the same, um, except for the large drawer, uh, instead of, here's the two dowels on this side. Instead of two dowels, you're gonna have one dowel. So essentially for this front, which is the front of it, you're gonna stick in your dowels, you're gonna stick in your cam locks, Okay, and these, um, now the holes for these, uh, again, there's three. These are the back of the drawer. These are the fr front of the drawer. Uh, here's those four holes that'll fit into the dowels and the cam locks. The big holes actually go on the exterior of the drawer. So when you're, the drawer is open, you don't see this hole. So you just kind of fit them in just like that and then lock them down with your nuts. And then you're gonna just take your base of your drawer, which is this thin little piece right here. There's two sides, there's kind of a grayish tan side and a white side. You want the white side in to the drawer. Then you take your top. And your top has this little groove here that'll fit into this bottom piece. And then it'll have uh, three holes. Now those holes, you're gonna essentially stick these little plastic pieces in pound them in to secure this back piece. So just kind of fit into that groove like that. And I always usually start with the back side and fit it in, find that hole. Okay, so with that in place, uh, the drawer is upside down. Now it's time to take your, your drawer rails here. Again, there's two different rails. They look a little bit different, but essentially you're gonna support them here and then secure them. There's two screws to secure them in place. And these rails will also keep this bottom in place. And there you go. Now the handles are just these little little devices here, if I can get these out. They're just, they're just like that. Kind of funky little bits and secured with these little screws in back. And the 
with that, our first drawer is done. You just put it in place. There you go. And there you go. The completed desk. The drawers all work nicely. Um, and all except for the dent, it went pretty well. We'll just cover that up for now. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, other than the dent, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.